hi guys welcome back to the vlog i'm super excited for this vlog if you're new here hi i'm kai i do all types of lifestyle videos and one thing that i love is sports but you know what i love more than sports shohei otani so i'm so excited for today it is saturday february 3rd and today's actually dodgers fest and this is actually i feel like the first time fans will see shohei as a dodger so i'm so so excited for you guys that don't know i was actually born in east la and i feel like people that were born in east la just have it ingrained that we have to root for the dodgers but then i lived in la for like the first few years of my life and then we moved to orange county so then in orange county obviously it's like more angels territory so I'm not gonna lie. I have a soft spot for the Angels just because like I grew up there. I remember them winning the World Series, which honestly I was like 9 or 10. Which should tell you how long it's been that they've won a World Series because I'm 30 now. But I'm so excited. Honestly, I was so relieved that he became a Dodger because I would have cried. No lie, I was gonna support him wherever he went. Like if he went to the moon, I probably was gonna be out rooting for the moon but i was just so relieved when i saw that blue instagram post i literally was like freaking out i told everyone so i'm so excited he's a dodger it just makes me feel better about rooting for him you know that it's a team that i actually like the only reason i'm sad that he left the angels was just because angels tickets are so cheap they're like 10 bucks like if you ever want to go to a baseball game and don't care who's playing go to the angels their tickets are like 10 bucks and obviously it's like closer to me so like i can just like pop in anytime but now i'm fine i will make the trek up to dodger stadium which is actually why i'm so excited for today because it's dodger fest and i've actually never been to dodger stadium obviously i've seen it i passed by it many times but i've never been so i'm so excited today is also my dad's birthday which makes this double exciting because he loves the dodgers so he actually had like refused to go to angel stadium completely so we're like look sure he's now a dodger so i'm really excited for today because we're taking him it's just gonna be a fun little outing dodger fest is basically just for the fans it's more like just like a hangout type of thing there's gonna be food there's gonna be games photo opportunity type of stuff they obviously will have the presentation with some of the players which again will have shohei is the first time fans will see him as a dodger because again he did have like his press conference and i know that like people have seen him like if they go do the stadium tour they'll see him like practice but this is like the first time presented to the fans so i'm so excited to see him in dodger blue it's gonna be so exciting and obviously seeing the other players as well i'm very excited for the merch situation i do want to show hey jersey keep in mind like angel games don't get packed at all and i remember going to one game i actually have a vlog about it i went to the angel stadium it was not packed at all but like i kid you not that team store felt like black friday type of crowds like everybody was fighting to get a shohei jersey so i'm kind of curious to see how the merch situation works today if i don't get a jersey i'm not gonna be too upset about it i can just order it later but I'm just curious to see if like people are going to rush to it. The thing about Dodgers that I feel like confident in is that obviously it's a more established team. There's more fan base there. They have more players that like people gravitate to. Where like at the Angels it was only like Shohei and then Trout, you know? So people were fighting at Angel Stadium for jerseys when it wasn't packed. So I'm a little nervous. They did sell tickets for this event. I did read comments that said that before previous years when they did this type of event, they didn't sell tickets, but this year they did. So that's gonna be an interesting change as well to see like the crowd levels. Obviously they probably did this because they know a lot of people are trying to attend and like see Shohei. Like I said, Angels games were, were like empty, but a lot of the fans that were there were only there for Shohei. So I'm pretty sure they're just planning ahead. Crowd control, you know? Which sucks though. Like I will say like it sucks when something was free and now it's paid, you know? So I do understand that. That sucks, you know? I'm just so excited to see what is gonna happen today i do plan on getting food i'm the type of person that emerges myself in this situation if a place has food i'm gonna eat it so i definitely want to get food see the merch just see what's up and obviously the presentation so i'm excited for this day it's almost time for me to head out so i'm going to show you guys everything that happens let's do this
what is up you guys I am checking in it's probably kind of loud because there's literally people talking but literally it is currently 12.58 so it's be barely one for the stage it doesn't start till two so we still have time I was down at the field like close to like the stage although they're gonna let like more PAPs like kind of into it so I was like you know what I'm okay like I want to see show hate space but also I'm okay with where I sit so we went to eat just see what's around and now we're actually sitting at like the actual like stand just because it's all open you can literally sit wherever you want so I'll leave it here we can have our food we have a little nacho bowl here and our little drinks thank you sister for modeling it's actually the MVP milkshake from Shake Shack and it has obviously the mug but it's been fun so far it's very crowded people do not know where they're going but yes I'm excited just to see what happens and the rest of the day and see how it goes so yes that's my update so far we still have an hour to go for the presentation yay
want to keep things together. Yeah, we're not friends or anything, we're just business partners. <laughs> What is up you guys? It is now much later as you guys can see I'm back home. I'm so tired. I did end up taking a nap. My hair is also poofy because like I literally at some point towards the end of the presentation it just got so so cold. I literally thought it was gonna rain. I felt the moisture in the air and obviously I had straightened my hair so it's a little like getting a little more poofy. I really need to like unwind right now and like take off my makeup and all of that stuff. Overall, it was an okay event. It's definitely not like a start to finish type of event. Like it definitely felt like a lot of like people that would go for like a few hours with their families and then like leave. It was only like the people that generally wanted to see Shohei I think that were there like super early. Cause again, people who wanted to be like by the fence were there early to make sure that they were like right at front and honestly i did do that my sister and i had gone to the like the fence at one point but then we decided we're like you know what let's just go let's just go eat just hang out again we went with my parents because it's my dad's birthday so we're like you know what let's hang out with him see what he wants to do and we had fun that way like i didn't feel like bad not being close to like shohei i was just there for like hanging out and having a fun time so i don't regret that part especially because we ended up sitting like up in the what is it i think it was like the second level so we were able to see the whole field so this is why i don't regret sitting up there because once the players started coming out all you see is like a rush of people like running towards the little like area they were walking out from and i was like you know what i would have hated that because that meant like you just saw people like running and then like coming back to that where the main stage was so i was like i would have hated being pushed by people or like have people try to push in and move around i've been to chargers training camp for the last two years and that's actually my biggest complaint about like charter training camp is that, like grown men are pushing to see other grown men and don't regard the people around them at charter training camp i will say that it is so dangerous because the space that they have against the fence is like very small like at least he for Dodgers Fest, like it was a whole field. There was places for people to move at Chargers Training Camp. It's like this small like area. So there's always people being like, go, stop pushing, like move back. Chargers Training Camp's kind of chaotic in that sense. Honestly, being by like the fence at any event just does not sound fun for me anymore. Also, I'm probably getting old. So that could also be it. Obviously, I set up at the stands. Also, like I'm so sorry for the videos of like the actual players speaking. I have no idea why anyone who's better with technology can like explain it down below but obviously whenever i will film the screen lines will show up and it's so annoying i don't know if it's like the screens that they have for like outdoor stadium this has only happened to me at dodger stadium and at angel stadium where like the screens will show up the lines if i film it if anyone wants to explain why let me know because i've been to crypto i've been to obviously been to sofi many times and it's never happened to me there so that was annoying so like the clips for the player speaking i was just switching back and forth between my camera and my phone just to make sure i had at least decent clips so that was terrible, especially because like once I got to Shohei, my camera, my actual camera, which did look at least a little bit better than my phone, it started dying and I was like, of course it would die right when Shohei comes out. So yay. I did try to get as much content as I could, obviously around Dodgers Fest. I, like I said, it's a pretty fun event, but it's definitely like if you want to just go for like a few hours and like if you don't care about seeing the players, because I did see like a lot of people that are like were families that were just like letting their kid play around in the field, catch some balls, which I think that sounds really fun. Like it's a good like day outing, you know? And then like a lot of people like will leave because they didn't care to see like Shohei or something or like wait all the way to the end to see like all the players. So that makes sense. Honestly, it was pretty fun. I feel like if I go next year, like if they do it again, I would try to do the VIP experience. There was like a VIP ticket and those people actually got to be like right in front of the stage. Like there was like a special section for them and they can just come in later, obviously. So they didn't have to wait, which again, sounds so nice. That's just something to keep in mind. Also, I did hear how Dodger Stadium is like terrible to get out of and it is true. I've never hated an experience of like leaving a stadium so much like I did that one. It also makes sense because I feel like that part of LA, obviously, for you guys that don't know, it's like the older part of LA. So it's like a lot, everything was built a lot smaller because again, they didn't have hindsight of what LA was going to become, you know, now how we see it. It's such a big city. So everything's built a lot smaller. Obviously that creates the most chaotic traffic jams. Getting out of there was a pain. But yeah, getting out of Dodger Stadium was a mess. I hated every second, but we made it out. I did end up getting a jersey. I just got like the cheaper version of the jersey. I just wanted to get it. I will say Dodgers was also a lot smarter compared to the Angels because they had so many, like obviously they had the main team merch. Obviously every level has like at least like a smaller merch store, but they had so many of like the pop-up trucks 
laid out everywhere that had the merch and honestly 10 out of 10 you guys are smart because it also had like everything it had the jerseys it had like the tees i like the japanese writing ones which again were so smart they had colors they had like the white one they had the blue one i did want to get like a black shirt that just had like the japanese name on it but i didn't i guess like i do it around the limit how much merch i spend but i did get this one i do get the men's version um this is in the medium just because i love having it loose like i wear mine's open just like loose like chill vibes so i can't wait to wear this like obviously once it gets more like warm out so i can just like be chill throw it on and have all like that nice vibe something that i did get them out of myself is that they have had like these really cute bucket hats i did see a few people wear them and i know during the community events they had this past week they were handing those out also i just didn't bother going to check the hat section for some reason at the main team store i did go to like the smaller ones and obviously they didn't have it but i didn't check the main main store which i feel like i should have it probably would have had it but I love bucket hats and I feel like that bucket hat looks so cute and I'm so mad that I didn't get it or didn't go check so oh well I'm just gonna have to live with this but yes that is all I got merch wise other than that it was such a fun day I definitely looking forward to go to an actual game which I'm nervous about traffic but excited for like the experience I will say something again from what I've seen compared to like angels dodgers definitely has like more of an actual like root home base like fan base which i feel like i really enjoy because like everyone's actually going there for like the team itself they love this team and all of that although i did have a little bit more fun again haven't been to a dodgers game so i'm speaking from an angels game experience the first angels game i did go to was like the funnest crowd ever like everybody was just like hanging out having a fun time so i'm excited to see like what a dodgers game looks like might be a little intense chaotic we'll see what it when that happens so overall it was a really fun day i'm so tired but we're gonna see what happens this season obviously spring training is starting soon they're gonna play their first game in korea which i think is so cool i'm excited for this next season because obviously football's over so i'm just gonna fill my time with baseball i'm glad that like baseball comes right when the football boy enters my life so i'm excited for this upcoming season i'm obviously excited to see shohei play so yes that is it for this video let me know down below do you guys like baseball do you guys have a favorite baseball team let me know down below it doesn't have to be the dodgers i would just love to hear who you're rooting for or if you don't like baseball let me know what sport you enjoy like i said i love football football and baseball are my sports right there but yeah let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't again i do all types of lifestyle videos and i do a lot of these type of vlogs where i go to different sport events again i go to chargers training camp every year and i try to do more dodger stuff as well so yeah i hope you guys stick around for that and that is it i will see you guys in a different video